for this best fish dissection. Ever, I present the Chinook Salmon, which is also called the King Salmon. In the description, I left a link to a salmon diagram for you to download and label. Now let's get this Chinook Salmon measured. Time to label the axes of a fish. Speaking of cranial, you're going to want to stick around until the end of the video to see the fish brain. Did you catch how big this king salmon was? This fish had a total length of over three feet. Now, on to our external bony fish anatomy and label the fins. Did you notice the rays of dermal bone? The scales of this spawning Chinook salmon are beautiful. The jaw structure of a spawning male salmon is impressive. Any doubt that salmon are predators? Take a close look at these teeth. In the steelhead trout dissection video, I asked, what are the two main functions of the gills? The answer is gas exchange and ion excretion. For those of you doing your own fish dissection, here's a pro tip. Be sure to use the blunt edges of the scissors when cutting into the body cavity. This prevents organ damage. Let's have a look at that internal anatomy. The first thing that really stands out to me are these paired, large white testes. In the wild, the male salmon will swim alongside the female salmon and deposit sperm over the eggs. Here you can see the cloud of white sperm in the water. But in fish hatcheries, which are important for salmon conservation aquaculture, fish biologists assist by mixing the sperm with the eggs, which are also harvested. So here's a tough salmon-specific test question. What do you call the behavior of fish that put all their energy into the activity of spawning and then die? The answer is in the description. Let's look at the rest of the internal anatomy. Whoa, check out the size of that two-chambered heart. Not much left of the stomach, which is really of no surprise, since Pacific salmon stop eating when they transition from seawater to freshwater to spawn. I've moved the gastrointestinal tract out of the way so we can get a good look at the gas bladder. And to see the kidney, I cut away the gas bladder so we can get a clear view of the kidney, which is the dark tissue in the middle. I hope you stayed to the end of this video to see the salmon brain. The brain is located just behind the eyes. For UC Davis Aquaculture, this is Dr. Jackson Gross, and this has been the best fish dissection ever.